Good day everyone, my name is Paberlo Keith Noel Tapia from Group 4 of Blessed Gonzalo of Lagos. So in this video, we will talk about this type of problem in the derivative assigned. To solve the problem, let 4 times square root of x be fx and let x squared minus 3 be gx. Then, we use the formula derivative of fx over gx. gx times derivative of fx minus fx times derivative of gx over gx squared. Then, we substitute them, where fx equals 4 times square root of x and gx equals x squared minus 3. Before we solve them, we first derivative 4 times square root of x equals 4 times 1 half x to the power of 1 half minus 1. And x squared minus 3 equals 2x to the power of 2 minus 1 and then minus 0. Then substitute. After the substitute, simplify the x squared minus 3 times 4 over 2 x to the power of negative 1 half minus 4 times square root of x times 2x. Further simplify them. So it will be distribute x squared times 2x to the power of negative 1 half minus 6x to the power of negative 1 half minus 8 times square root of x times x. Then apply the laws of exponent. 2x squared minus 1 half then minus 6x to the power of negative 1 half then minus 8x to the power of 1 half plus 1. Apply addition of exponent. 2x to the power of 3 over 2 minus 6x to the power of negative 1 half minus 8x to the power of 3 over 2. Combine like terms. 2x to the power of 3 over 2 minus 8x to the power of 3 over 2 minus 6x to the power of negative 1 half. Then, 2x to the power of 3 over 2 minus 8x to the power of 3 over 2 equals negative 6x to the power of 3 over 2. Take the common or factor the negative 6x to the power of 3 over 2 minus 6x to the power of negative 1 half which is negative 6x to the power of negative 1 half times x squared plus 1. Since the exponent of the negative 6 is negative, we transfer the exponent to the denominator in order to become positive. And now there you go. You have now the final answer. That's all everyone. I hope this video did help you and can help you. Thank you and God bless.